people as well as uh, being here for those of you who have enough of a lazy day to be able to watch. So Sipple comes in and uh, rolls to the left hand. Unfortunately, it's a wide first up for Sipple. This is a long time to bat. You've got to be out there. <laughs> They could both be out there for Ruby, you never know. This is short, an attempted pull shot. She's edged it through to the keeper. Oh my goodness, that's a wicket. A great wicket for Queensland, and Reed is out for three. Or you've got to get through the crease, and that was really well directed. Probably a, probably be disappointed. In fact, might be disappointed with the decision too. Did she even hit it? But everyone has gone up straight away. Yeah. You're never happy when you give it out. Complete different experience level changes. Oh. Indeed, this is played late and it's been edged through to the keeper. It was a very bouncy ball there from Sipple and it's been played very late by Henry. Please, please. There is, there is no slip for the oh. minute, though. Uh, this next ball Bolt. is bold. That is incredible. Fulton is out. So a wonderful delivery. And that's another wicket falling for Victoria. But what a terrific delivery. Look at that drifting in and just continued on down the line. A terrific delivery. All sorts of doubt with Nicole Fulton. Yeah. And how much it's going to spin, what's going on. Amazing delivery. These spinners are at, well, they're international. Three for 89. Oh, that one, a leading edge. It balloons in the air and it's caught. So that's a big wicket for Queensland. An excellent captaincy as well to put Hancock back on as the game looked like it was just starting to drift for Queensland. Indoors moments. Not taking two, not running hard enough and getting down the other end. Probably shouldn't be on strike. Hancock comes on, has bowled well, as you say, except for her, her fifth over, but this over's been fantastic. Change of pace and then a, an easy catch. So. Charlie not puts her hands on her heads. Thought she could create something new. Honest with the pads. This one does hit the pads and oh. it's out. It's an LBW and that is the end of Atkinson for 11. See with the ball pitching there, she had the off stump guard and then maybe she just shuffled in front. Mm. And the adjudication as she went to work it across the line, square on the onside against the big spinning ball. Just above the pad, certainly wasn't going over. But you're only giving it close. Oh, I had, it. I was giving that straight away. Raymond Hurley faces up again, playing a ball late. This time she's bowled. Played the ball way too late. It had already hit the stumps, in fact. And Raymond Hurley is out for 13. The league's been bowled though. Bryce yeah. McGain will be very, very impressed with this. Haveled at the wrong end, at the back of the hand, hits the top of off. Really well bowled. A couple of leggies, and then at the back of the hand. That's a fantastic set up from a really talented young bowler. Parsons now is two for 20. Wareham's on strike to Sybil. And Sybil's going to be bowling right arm over. She bowls wide and Wareham reaches for it. She sends the ball out into the deep and this will bring up her 50. There's a lot of applause here from the ground, rightly so. Wareham scored a 50 from 77 deliveries. If they can hit a boundary and then just run four other singles, it's eight and over. And yeah. it, it seems pretty simple when you can manage it that way. Oh, that's a big Nevins one. Evans has hit a big shot here, and that's gone way over the mid-wicket boundary. A beautiful six from from Nevin. Tough game ball in the last over as an off spinner. Nevins on strike, and she's lofting a ball out into the deep. It's going out towards the fielder where it will be caught. Out at long on, and Nevins is out for 36, a glorious 36. Do that, Bryce. <laughs> well, you talk loud enough that someone will listen. Um, <laughs> but good catch. Well, Jade. Yeah, there's a lot. They did well to get back there for the second. Good awareness. Sophie Day has been stumped on the last ball of the day. No. Umpire. Has umpire be. hasn't put the finger up, but that has to be out. For Maddie, as she comes in, she's bowling over the wicket. And uh, this first ball. Mm. That was wide on the crease there, cutting and a little bit of a gap. Likes to be the aggressor. Oh, that one is a free hit almost, isn't it? And it's been smacked out to the rope for four. A lot more overs this time than the previous match. This ball a little fuller and beautifully fielded out there. 
in the circle and that's been caught. It's a catch, a terrific catch. Here's the shot again, shorter delivery and she just hoiked it away and a good diving catch across to her right. Sensational work there. That's Sophie Reed at mid-wicket. And terrific hands and all that hard work to be on target. Bowling. This time it's again gone down to fine leg. And this one will dribble all the way into the rope. That is four runs. Oh, there's a wicket. There is a wicket. And Day does get the breakthrough. Thoroughly deserved. She's bowled really well through her first 20 deliveries. Perfect bowling. Just superb. And with mid on up inside the circle, it created the chance. And the Victorian women... Open the front leg and she'll smack it for six. She wanted a piece of that one. And she has smashed it. <laughs> what a shot. And then in the next over from where and that big six over mid wicket. And then the last one as well. So Oh, that's a high hit. And it's a far hit. Sophie Day just watches that go over her head, over the pickets and almost hit the scoreboard. Yeah, that's in the a car park. That big one. shot. If, if they're reaching 211 in 40 overs is the equation. Harris hits it straight, long and long enough to bring up one of the best half centuries you'll ever see. And I mean that, that has just been pure ball striking. And Bates comes in. Bowling to Harris. Harris is lofting a ball out towards the rope. There is no one out there. And again, it sails over the boundary for another six. Harris, he's on strike again now as Bates bowls to her. Wide, and she's lofting another ball out towards the rope. That's sailed over the fence as well. That's another six to Harris. It's quite remarkable seeing the way she's gone about this. Ten runs off the bat and two wide so far off this over. And this next one is sent out into the deep. It's heading straight to the fielder and will be caught out there at square, deep square leg. Laura Harris has come out and just launched the ball to all parts. Couldn't quite get that one over the rope. <laughs> this is out. Been stumped, so not come down the pitch to this next beautiful delivery from Wareham. Fulton did the rest, beautiful bowling, just perfect leg spin bowling when they're looking to attack and come down the crease and then that's good experience. And this next one is struck firmly out into the offside, it's beaten the fielder, they are going to run two and that's going to be the end of the match. In fact I think they're coming back for the third, did it go to the rope? No, not quite. And Queensland have won this match.